Hi dear students, welcome to Brilliant Katha with another set of important question from the chapter Trigonometry of Grade 11. Let's move to the first question. Prove that cos square x plus cos square x plus pi by 3 plus cos square x minus pi by 3 equal to 3 by 2. So very important question from the last part of the chapter. Let's see how to solve this problem. To solve this question, we need to make use uh, one identity that we studied in chapter cos 2a is equal to. There are four formulas for cos 2a. Cos 2a is equal to cos square a minus sin square a, 2 cos square a minus 1, 1 minus 2 sin square a, 1 minus tan square a by 1 plus tan square a. We make use the second identity cos 2a is equal to 2 cos square a minus 1. Cos 2a is equal to 2 cos square a minus 1. From this identity, we need to find what is cos square a. Transform minus 1 to right side and write 1 plus cos 2a is equal to what? 2 cos square a. 1 plus cos 2a is equal to 2 cos square a. So what is cos square a? 1 plus cos 2a by 2 cos square a is equal to 1 plus cos 2a by 2. In place of a, you can put b, cos square b is 1 plus cos 2b by 2. You can put x, cos square x is equal to 1 plus cos 2x by 2, y, anything. So let us take our LHS. What is the LHS? Cos square x plus, cos square x plus pi by 3 plus cos square x minus pi by 3. So you can transform this cos square x as what? 1 plus cos 2x by 2. 1 plus cos 2x by 2. The next term in place of a, you have x plus pi by 3. So what is cos square x plus pi by 3? 1 plus cos 2 into x plus pi by 3 by 2. So 1 plus cos 2 into x plus pi by 3 by 2. In the next term, in place of a, you have x minus pi by 3. So what is cos square x minus pi by 3? 1 plus cos 2 into x minus pi by 3 by 2, right? So 1 plus cos 2 into x minus pi by 3 by 2. So I use this identity. Now we have three terms with same denominator. Three terms with the same denominator. How to add three fraction with the same denominator? Just add the numerators and put the common denominator. So we have in the 2, 2 whole by 2 will come. Now we have 1, 1, 1. What is 1 plus 1 plus 1? 3. So 3 plus this term, this term, and this term whole by 2. When I open this one, 2 into x plus pi by 3 will become 2x plus 2 pi by 3. And this will become 2x minus 2 pi by 3. Let us see. So 3 plus 1, 1, 1, 3. This term cos 2x. And I open this bracket, cos 2 into x plus pi by 3 will become what? 2x plus 2 pi by 3. And this will become 2x minus 2 pi by 3. So, right? Now, to proceed further, we need another identity that we studied. Sin a plus b plus sin a minus b is equal to what? 2 sin a cos b. Sin a plus b minus sin a minus b is equal to what? To cos a sin b. Cos a plus b plus cos a minus b is equal to what? To cos a cos b. Cos a plus b minus cos a minus b is equal to what? To sin a sin b. Take the third identity. Cos a plus b plus cos a minus b is equal to 2 cos a cos b. So we have a term here. Cos a plus b, a is 2x, b is 2 pi by 3, plus cos a minus b, a is 2x, b is 2 pi by 3. So I will make use this identity, cos a plus b plus cos a minus b is equal to 2 cos a cos b for these two terms. So this will become 3 plus cos 2x plus 2 cos 2x into 2 pi by 3. 2 cos a plus b plus cos a minus b is 2 cos a cos b. a is 2x, b is 2 pi by 3, right? Now I need what is the value of cos 2 pi by 3. What is pi by 3? Pi by 3 is the radian measure. Equivalently, you can see what is the degree. Pi by 3 is 60 degree. 
and you know what is cos 60 in grade 10 you studied cos 60 is what 1 by 2 if you know cos 60 you can say any multiple of 60 cos pi by 3 is 1 by 2 mean cos 2 pi by 3 will be either 1 by 2 or minus 1 by 2 cos 5 pi by 3 will be either 1 by 2 or minus 1 by 2 cos 4 pi by 3 will be either 1 by 2 or minus 1 by 2 how you decide it is 1 by 2 or minus 1 by 2 depending on the quadrant we have studied a famous relation astc there will be no one in 11 standard who don't know this relation ASTC all positive in the first quadrant in the second quadrant sine is positive and cosec is positive and third quadrant tan and cot are positive and in the fourth quadrant cos and sec are positive so cos 2 pi by 3 you have a formula you have a method to reduce it 2 pi by 3 you can write pi minus pi by 3 pi minus pi by 3 is in second quadrant so minus cos pi by 3 so otherwise you can just mentally you can calculate 60 2 into 60 is 120 120 is in second quadrant second quadrant cos is negative so cos 2 pi by 3 is minus 1 by 2 if you want to know how to decide 2 pi by 3 and all you can watch our old videos there will be a lot of videos uploaded to find how 2 pi by 3 5 pi by 3 11 pi by 3 etc so cos 2 pi by 3 is minus 1 by 2 substitute that one so you will be getting 3 cos 2x plus 2 cos 2x into minus 1 by 2. Simple now. Cancel 2 and cancel this 2. So what are the balance now? Cos 3 plus cos 2x minus cos 2x whole by 2. Now cos 2x and cos 2x get cancelled. What will be getting? 3 by 2. Great. So, very simple. We have made use two identities cos 2a is equal to 2 cos square a minus 1. From there, I wrote what is cos square a 1 plus cos 2a by 2. And then I use another identity cos a plus b plus cos a minus b is equal to 2 cos a cos b. The next question also I am using the same identity. So, let us move to the next question. Prove that cos 2x into cos x by 2 minus cos 3x into cos 9x by 2 is equal to sin 5x into sin 5x by 2. So to solve this one, again, I am using the same identity what I used in the previous question. So let us take the LHS. 2 cos a cos b is equal to cos a plus b plus cos a minus b. In the previous question, I wrote the LHS in the RHS in the LHS and LHS was in the RHS. Now, I reversed it. 2 cos a cos b is equal to cos a plus b plus cos a minus b. So, now let's take the LHS. And one more identity I will be using here. Cos c minus cos d that is equal to minus 2 sin c plus d by 2 cos c minus cos d is equal to minus 2 sin c plus d by 2 into sin c minus d by 2. So this is the next identity I will be using in this uh, problem. Let us take the LHS. Cos the first term is cos 2x into cos x by 2 minus cos 3x into cos 9x by 2. Now see this identity starts with 2. So I want to put a 2 here and a 2 here. Very simple. How will you put a 2? Just multiply. At the same time, you need to divide also. So we say that multiply numer and, and divide by 2. So what will be getting? This is equal to half into 2 cos 2x into cos x by 2 minus 2 cos. I always write the biggest angle first and the next the smaller the next so 2 cos 9x by 2 into cos 3x now what is 2 cos a cos b cos a plus b what is a here 2x what is b here x by 2 so what will be the first term cos 2x plus x by 2 plus cos 2x minus x by 2 because a is 2x and b is x by 2 so cos a plus b plus cos a minus b same identity apply for the next one there will be minus minus will be common so cos 9x by 2 plus 3x plus cos 9x by 2 minus 3x so 
in the first case a was 2x b was x by 2 in the second case a was 9x by 2 b was 3x now open the bracket what will happen and simplify so 2x plus x by 2 will be 2 into 2 4x plus x 5x by 2 this is uh, 4x minus x 3x by 2 here 9x by 2 plus 2 into 3 6x so 15x by 2 here 9x by 2 minus 6x there is again 3x by 2 so and open the bracket so what will happen cos 5x by 2 2 into 2 4x plus x is 5x by 2 plus cos 4x minus x is 3x by 2 and cos 9 plus 6 15x by 2 and I open the bracket thus this plus and minus will become here minus so minus now you see cos 3x by 2 and cos 3x by 2 get cancelled so what is the balance half into cos half into cos 5x by 2 minus 15x by 2 now I take minus outside and bring 15x by 2 first and 5x by 2 next so what will happen minus half into cos 15x by 2 minus 5x by 2 now make choose this second identity cos c minus cos d or cos x minus cos y what is cos c minus cos d minus 2 sin c plus d by 2 into sin c minus d by 2 or sin x minus sin y is equal to minus 2 sin x plus y by 2 into sin x minus y by 2 so this will become what minus 2 sin 15 x by 2 plus 5 x by 2 by 2 into sin 15 x by 2 minus 5 x by 2 by 2 right so let us see minus half into minus 2 sin 15 x by 2 plus 5 x by 2 by 2 into sin 15 x by 2 minus 5 x by 2 by 2 now see what is 15 x by 2 plus 5 x by 2 20 x by 2 20 x by 2 is what 10 x 10 x by 2 is what 5 x what is 15 x by 2 minus 5 x by 2 10 x by 2 what is 10 x by 2 5 x and what is 5x whole by 2 is what? 5x by 2. So that's equal to RHS. So this is we need to prove that is LHS is equal to RHS. Simple. Okay, let's move to the next question. Prove that cos 6x is equal to 32 cos raised to 6x minus 48 cos raised to 4x plus 18 cos square x minus 1. To solve this one, I need two more identities of trigonometry. Trigonometry is a lot of identities. Around 20, 30 identities are there. If you studied all that thing thoroughly, it's a piece of cake. Otherwise, it's impossible to do the problem. So let us see which are the two formulas I will be using here it is. One is the same thing, cos 2a. The same formula what we use in the first question, cos 2a is equal to what? 2 cos square a minus 1 because the formula of cos 2a ending with minus 1, 2 cos square a minus 1. Another one, cos 3a. What is cos 3a? We have a formula for cos 3a, sin 3a and tan 3a. What is cos 3a? 4 cos cube a minus 3 cos a. These are the two identities I will be using to solve this one. Let us take the LHS. So first identity is cos 2a is equal to 2 cos square a minus 1 and the second identity is cos 3a is equal to 4 cos cube a minus 3 cos a. So take the and one more this is famous identity for 9th, 8th and all a minus b all square is equal to a square minus 2ab plus b square. So if you know all these three formula you can easily understand the next question. Take the LHS equal to cos 6x. You know 6x you can rewrite as what? 6x is equal to what? many ways I will write 2 into 3x cos 6x is equal to cos of 2 into 3x 2 into 3x now I make use of this identity cos 2a is equal to 2 cos square a minus 1 what is a what is a 3x so cos 2 into 3x is 2 cos square a 2 cos square 3x minus 1 right 2 cos square 3x minus 1 now you know cos square a is the short form of what cos a the whole square sin square a you can rewrite as what sin a the whole square so 2 cos square 3x you can rewrite as what 2 cos 3x the whole square 
So this will become 2 cos 3x the whole square minus 1. Now utilize this formula cos 3a. What is cos 3a? 4 cos cube a minus 3 cos a. So cos 3x will become what? 4 cos cube x minus 3 cos x. So 2 into 4 cos cube x minus 3 cos x the whole square minus 1. Great. Now utilize the famous identity a plus b whole square. Wherever you go you can see in even movies, movies they will be saying a plus b whole square. What is the use of this in our real life? There are a lot of use. But now I am using the identity a minus b whole square. What is a minus b whole square? a square minus 2ab plus b square. So a is here 4 cos cube x, b is 3 here 3 cos x. So this will become 2 into 4 cos cube x the whole square minus 2 into 4 cos cube x into 3 cos x plus 3 cos x the whole square minus 1. So 4 cos cube x the whole square minus 2 into 4 cos cube x into 3 cos x plus 3 cos x the whole square minus 1. Right? Finish. Now you just want to open the bracket and simplify that all. So what is cos cube x the whole square? 4 square is what? a into b the whole square is a square into b square. So 4 square is 16. Cos cube x the whole square is cos cube x cos raised to 6x or cos cube x into cos cube x. You know a square into a square is a raised to 4. Add the exponent. So cos cube x the whole square is cos raised to 6x. Now 2 into 4, 8 into 3, 24. Cos cube x into cos x is cos raised to 4x plus 3 square is 9 cos square x minus 1. So 2 into 16 cos raised to 6x minus 24. 2 into 4, 8 into 3, 24 cos raised to 4x. Cos cube x into cos x is cos raised to 4x plus 9 cos square x minus 1. Open the bracket. 2 into 16, 32. 2 into 24, 48. 2 into 9, 18. So you will be getting what? 32 cos raised to 6x minus 28 cos raised to 4x plus 18 cos square x minus 1. Simple. So that's all. That is RHS. So what are the two, three identities which we used here? Cos 2a is equal to what? 2 cos square a minus 1. In the first form problem, I use the same thing. And the second formula is cos 3a is equal to 4 cos cube a minus 3 cos a. And our 9 standard, 10 standard identity, a minus b all square is equal to what? a square minus 2ab plus b square. That's simple, no? Simple, if you know the formulas. Let's move to the next question. Prove that root of 2 plus root of 2 plus root of 2 plus 2 cos 8 theta is equal to 2 cos theta. Looks simple, no? Is an extra question, not from the reader. So reference books. Again, I need some identities of trigonometry to solve this one easily. Which is identity? Cos A is equal to 2 cos square A by 2 minus 1 or 1 plus cos a is equal to 2 cos square a by 2. 1 plus cos a is equal to 2 cos square a by 2. There are a lot of identities which you can utilize. And there is another identity, 1 minus cos a is equal to 2 sin square a by 2. 1 plus tan a by 1 minus tan a, tan pi by 4 plus a. So a lot of identities are there which can be uh, studied or by hearted so that your whole process of solving trigonometry will become easy. And you can enjoy trigonometry if you know the results. If you don't know the result, people used to, children used to say, oh, trigonometry, it's difficult, it is hard. It is easy actually. The main thing is you need to see a proper way to learn it. So let us take their lectures. 1 plus cos 2a is equal to 2 cos square a by 2. If a is anything, if a is x, 1 plus cos x is 2 cos square x by 2. So let us take the first LHS is equal to root of 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 cos theta, 2 cos 8 theta. Now from these two terms, the last root inside 2 plus 2 cos 8 theta, can you take a 2 outside? 2 is common in those two terms. So you can take 2 common. So if you take 2 common, this will become 2 into 1 plus cos 8 theta, right? See, 2 plus 2 plus 2 into 1 plus cos 8 theta. This 2 is taken outside and here 1, here cos 8 theta. 
Now, in place of A, you have 8 theta. In place of A, you have 8 theta. So, what is 1 plus cos 8 theta? 2 cos square 8 theta by 2. What is 8 theta by 2? What is 8 theta by 2? 4 theta. 10 theta by 2 will become 5 theta. So, 1 plus cos 8 theta is what? 2 cos square 8 theta by 2. So, 2 cos square 4 theta. So, this will become 2 plus root of 2 plus 2 into 1 plus cos 8 theta is 2 cos square 4 theta. Now, see inside the last root 2 into 2 root of 2 into 2 is what? 2. That means root of 2 square. Root of 2 square is 4. 4 is 2. So, root of 2 into 2, 1, 2 will go. And cos square 4 theta. What is root of cos square 4 theta? Cos 4 theta. Very simple. So, what will be the last root will reduce as what? 2 cos 4 theta. This 2 will be there. That is 2 plus root of 2 plus this root will disappear from here. And this will become 2 cos 4 theta. Repeat the same process of taking 2 common. I took a 2 common from these 2. So, this will become 2 into what? 1 plus cos 4 theta. See? 2 plus 2 into root, uh, root of 2 into 1 plus cos 4 theta. Again, what is 1 plus cos A? 2 cos square A by 2. So, what is 1 plus cos 4 theta? 2 cos square 4 theta by 2. What is 2 cos square 4 theta by 2? 2 cos square 2 theta. So, it will reduce as what? Root of 2 plus 2 into 2 cos square 2 theta. Same process here. There are two twos inside the root. So, root of 2 into 2 is root of 2 square. Root of 2 square is 2. And cos square 2 theta is become what? Cos 2 theta. So, this will become 2 plus 2 cos 2 theta. Again, take 2 common. If you take 2 common, again 2 into 1 plus cos 2 theta. 1 plus cos 2 theta. In the first problem also I use. 2 cos square, 2 into 1 plus cos 2 theta. So, in place of A, you have 2 theta. So, it will become 2 cos square, 2 theta by 2. So, root of 2 cos square theta. Again, root of 2 into 2 is root of 2 square into cos square theta. So, root will go. So, it will become 2 cos theta. Great. Simple. So, it's equal to RHS. That's all for today. And we'll meet you with another set of important question shortly. Please watch the videos and subscribe the channel and like, press the like button so that you will get the notification as and when we upload new videos. We are uploading videos for physics, chemistry, biology, for neat preparation and J preparation and mathematics. So subscribe the channel so that you will get the update as and when we put new videos. Thank you.